Um, let's look. Nature at... servant awaits. You just have to. Uh, can I help you? Uh, cool. Oh, nice. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. You have one of them too. What's that? This morning star is a wooden shaft topped with a metal head made up of a spiked iron sheath. Morning stars have an overall length of about four feet. Some such weapons have a rounded oval or cylindrical shaped head studded with spikes. Extending from most morning star heads, regardless of design, is a long point for thrusting. Uh, 2d4 crushing damage. Um, spiked weapons. Longsword, so that's 1d8 damage. Slashing. Ah, what well, boy's proficiency? So it's proficiency large sword and proficiency spiked weapons. So large sword, I think that makes sense to stick with that. Because otherwise. I mean, part of me's tempted to go with that because that's 2d4 rather than 1d8. Um, I can't remember how we switched that around. Now we have a fighter druid! Okay, so <laughs> we have frontline party members. Um, uh, oh, you have spells, don't you? Healing. Cure light wounds. Whatever this is. Remove fear. So that's going to be helpful when we go out to the basin. And entangle. And he's got a few more, and I think we'll stick with that. Um, I'm trying to work out how to... Ooh, that's me there. Okay. What? If you wish, but uh, I'm not a very inspiring leader. Oh, pants, because he's the leader, isn't he? As it should be. Okay, well, I'll just do Of course. That Make it quick. No sooner said than done. Can I rearrange the plot? Aha. Because I really don't want him to be there. But I think he's got the highest charisma, hasn't he? I mean, that's just the sensible thing to go for. But he's a few mage. Right, let, okay, so what's his charisma like? His charisma 14, 16. Okay, so... Um... Which you guys you couldn't have made a better choice. And so she's gonna be Oswald's best. Actually, I'm going I mean uh, Nine Charisma, no. Possibly probably the stamina doesn't help. Nineteen Thacko, nineteen Thacko, eighteen Thacko. Ah, uh, you're quite good then. Um I think I'll stick like that. Are you the innkeeper? It's Could been very for a slow business lately. Right. Iron is the lifeblood of this whole region. It's sure painful when it says, what can do for you? What do you have to sell? Okay. Sell. Um, I don't want to sell the, the scroll. I don't want to sell the potions of healing. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's whether I sell. I don't even know what I'm doing with these, really. Yeah, potty cash is kind of low. So I don't feel especially... I should have some drinks. A bit of black ale. No, I can't. I can't this is a shit dark. Try wine. Alright. He's a bit tipsy now, that's not good. Um, I think he's a bit of an alky. No, okay. Let's. I think that's why people use royal, but I think. Merchant. That's the very times, okay. You've attacked the group. What am I trying to do now? I 
I met a strange man on the road to the friendly I mean, He seemed interested in me. He seemed okay. Yeah, but he was apparently a bounty hunter. I don't know how I know that. I think it's because I'm not supposed to have just run past him. Um, I'm guessing I'll go outside. Let's go outside now. My blood will cut you down to size. You are so rubbish at this. I should have saved when I got in. Yes, I'm dead. Yes. Right, okay. A waste of my talents. Sorry. Right. Let's get back in. I don't know what level he is, but he's flipping tough. Hello. This. Not that we talk to anyone at the moment. And I'm rested as well. I got rid of this one damage. Um, Wizard may have been a mistake, but I think if memory serves as they get as they go on, they get a lot better. But that's kind of I think that's standard for this. Hi, friend. No, no, don't talk to him. No. Um, I'm here to meet some friends. Any other person I'm supposed to meet? Yes, yes, but I'm still not supposed to meet you. Leave me alone. No sooner said hey, than done. friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Okay, I can't say that. Okay. What does your uncle do? He's a musical question. Uncle and your drunk, even though you might not be. How long must we wait here? Things skirt to the south as we sit. Continue, good to know you. Yes. Your company would work. Right, okay. Cheers, man. You couldn't have made a better choice. Okay, um. Right, let's rest up. For a slow beast. Uh, I know. So, what can I do for you? What do you have to sell? Okay, sell. So, I'm not really. I'm not. Yes, I think I'll sell that. Merchant. Done. Okay. Now go back to the inventory and we start messing with that. So that's that's been a quick item slot. You're gonna be on the front line, so we'll give you that. We will now save and remember to do this. Save, that's LP4. Nature for the group. Yeah, so we've got a fighter druid. Um, I didn't realise that you could have a fighter druid. What's your race? You're a half elf. Okay, I think yeah, I think they can do it. I think is it just them and elves? Whoa! Constitution. Yeah, fifteen charisma. Not too bad. Nine charisma. Don't want you leading. Um, fourteen charisma. Let's look at our characters, our new friends. When asked about her past, Jahira glares as she speak. She says that she was born in the Tether region to a loyalist, a loyalist of the King Alamander regime. Unfortunately, during the Teth, te, Tether, I don't know why I can't say that word, during the Tetherian civil war. There we go. Her family was among the nobles targeted by the angry mobs of peasants, and she was only spared because a servant girl, uh, servant girl took her from the castle before it fell. They fled into the forest of Tether, and stumbled across an, en um, an enclave of druids willing to take the child. 
Jahira grew up a very headstrong girl, believing that the only way to protect nature was to have an active role in the world. She seems to have little in common with Khalid, but even though her manner is often confrontational, she apparently cares deeply for him. Her admiration of Gorion is obvious, and she plainly states that whomever was responsible for his death will suffer an equal fate. Cool, cool, done. Information about Yi. Biography. When asked about his past, Khalid nervously reveals that he was born and raised in the nation of Kalimshan. He does not say much of his parents, but you get the feeling that his merchant father thought little of him, devoting much more attention to, Ka to Khalid's half-brothers. Khalid thus threw himself into the martial pursuits, studying under members of the c city militia. He doesn't go into detail on how he met Jahira, Jahira but his adoration of her is obvious. When asked about how he knew Gorion, he will only say that they had long been friends, and that many shared acquaintances will mourn his loss with harp song. And Imowen. <laughs>